Hello, good evening and happy Wednesday. Here we are again. It does come around quickly, doesn't it? Really quickly. So today's been a really productive day. Not too much crafting, but lots of other jobs that needed doing that really just got cleared up. So that was a good tick, tick, tick. So enjoyed that. So that's good. Um, so tonight I'm going to use the same stamp set as we used on Sunday. However, I'm going to get it down onto the table. In a um, however, we're going to do, it's going to be the same, but sort of totally different, really, because I'm doing totally different. I'm going to use the opposite flower, different colours, um, totally different design. So let me get you down onto the table and I will see. Hi, Lizzie. Lovely to see you. There we go. So we're ready to go. So colour and contour again. I'm just going to refresh you as to the card that we did on Sunday. So Sunday's was using the daisy-like flowers at the top here. Um, and I did the scallops, but I did them twice in the two-tone colours. So you can see we had some little speckles we put over the greeting. Um, tonight I'm going to be using the opposite flower, totally different. Um, and we might use the same greeting because I do like that. Thank you for everything um, saying. Hi, Claire. Hi, Angela. Lovely to see you. Um, and, oh, when I came off air, we did some embossing on there as well. Um, when I came off air, I did just do the um, liner on the inside there. So that was just to finish it off because I always forget. I've even got my envelope out tonight. So, hey, I forget to put gems on. I forget to put ribbon on. Hey, I just get carried away with what I'm doing. So this is the stamp set. And I've already mounted these two up. I've got the um, the branch here and then the little infill one there. Okay, and we have Tiggs with us today. He's walking at the other end of the table. So, oh wait, and smudges under the table. So there we go. If we have any interference. Hi, Leisha. Caught me live. Wow. Um, we do get a bit of um, shadow in here, unfortunately. Down this left-hand corner here, you've got um, we've got a really tall building here. It was an old 1865 primary school. And when we had the rewire done just before COVID, I needed floodlights in here because they were so soft. They were like lounge lights and it's a really tall ceiling. So the floodlights are great. Brilliant lighting. However, it now casts a shadow through my camera equipment. So um, we'll get there. We'll find something else another way around, I'm sure. So the children are just hopefully going to behave and hopefully leave us. I just need, my, need to get, just get the ruler and just off for those. Tiggs, off, off. When you have the other side of the table and you have lots of tiny, tiny little pieces all punched out and your biggest cat wants to walk all over it. Okay, not a good idea. Hi, Pam, good to see you. So, on to collar and, collar and contour. I can't get used to this spelling. Sorry, Americans, and my lovely American friends. Um, but sorry, I can't get used to it. So, I have already scored the card tonight. It is half a sheet of card. Um, so, cut in half this way, long ways, and then scored in half that way at ten and a half. Okay, so quarter sheet, uh, half sheet folded in half. So that's going to be my card. The first thing we're going to get to is the scallop again. As you know, I put mine into, onto a little piece of black card, so I have everything in here that we need. This is the die we're going to use today. I'm going to put that on my magnetic dish just there. Not using these. I love these, and I had these first. Um, and because this bundle is carrying over into the new catalogue, I just had to get the stamps as well to go with it. So that's that one can go away. And I am going to show you how I line this up. I put it on any grid paper, wherever you are, whatever you've got. Um, I do use the Stampin' Up! grid paper sometimes, but having a big, um, massive mat here, it does help. So what I'm going to do is pick any point on here that I want to line these up. Oh, let me just get that camera forward again. There we go. So I've lined this up on one line across the top there, and I'm going to stick either end of this die um, to the third line down, because I worked out that that's kind of like pretty good so if I go three and three and then I've got sellotape on here ready just move that down a fraction okay and make sure it's lined up put the sellotape down um, this is just scotch tape so it's not going to stick and then I'm going to cut that one away okay get the glasses out of the way otherwise I'm blurred and there we go I'm kind of at that bifocal very focal whatever stage but not quite there yet so reading glasses correct my contact lenses for close work. <laughs> it can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Hi, Wendy. Nice to see you. Okay, so we're just rolling that through there. And get the glues out of the way so I can see the other end. And that's the only piece I need for now. 
no oh i will be cutting in a little while pop that back to the floor so on the other side here just got a little bit of speck of dust on there on the other side here you can see that that's cut through nicely so i'm just going to gently push this away from the dies and that will peel off with the tape on there as well so one's going away and the die is coming up like so and i tend to leave the scotch tape attached i'll put that straight back in my box up there um, and then these two will come away okay now that should I did only pass it once through but it should if you just get your nail to it it should be there I haven't had a problem with these there we go so this is the piece that's left over now we will use probably use that for the greeting okay nothing wastes okay so as I turn this over I had scored this but I'm just going to run the bone folder over again and here we have our lovely edge okay where it's stuck a little bit okay beautiful oh it's really really glary white let me bring that up to you um so this is my scallop edge that we're going to have now tonight um i last time i used the new on sunday i used the new in colors um tonight i'm going to use <laughs> some papers that i have hidden they were here somewhere now in the mini catalogue that is just coming to an end um this catalogue here the, the um, purple front um the papers at the back here are for holding a party yourself so if you have 150 pounds worth of orders or even i think i mentioned it the other day even if it's you and a couple of friends or crafty friends want anything then please this is um, a host rewards that you can get when you start at 150 pound order you get hostess rewards and you can have these papers for absolutely free and it is a massive 48 sheets now obviously the catalog is coming to an end so um, if you've got anything before the end of the month or while stocks last, should I say, um, these are the papers that I'm using tonight um, and they are bright and, and really, really lovely. I'm going to turn them over like a book so that you can see how they all work here. OK, um, I will be doing them. Obviously, I, I pack packs down like this and give them away as host rewards um, for the larger orders, but haven't quite met the. 150 themselves as well so i love these i love the fact that the floral ones are really bright but i love some of the backgrounds and i nearly use this paper um kind of when i show you the design you'll see why I just ask do you think that those two go together or would you put this is the other one here would you put those two together so would you go towards the are we going to use the stripes but would you go towards the pinks or the purples? Okay, you've got to make a decision. Now looking at the lovely papers. Yes, Anne, they are gorgeous. Um, you, you're playing with your order that arrived today, aren't you? I bet. Okay, so which way would you like to go? I'm going to go with the stripes. And while you decide, I'm going to purple. Well, that's interesting. I will tell you for why. I have cut this piece of paper here and somewhere I wrote down what size I was gonna do this. Because these come as, as, as 12 inch or six inches, I've cut them down, um, papers, um, I tend to stick to inches if I'm doing it in modular that I need to keep them in a sensible, you know, divisible size. But it's not really gonna make much difference today. So I'm gonna cut this at three and a half centimeters. Okay, so three and a half down there and there, and I'm just going to cut that strip off. Now, I'll tell you why it's interesting in a sec, but I'll leave those two there for a moment. So I'm going to attach this one to the inside. Now, when I stick this down, I kind of, it's going to be a tad longer than what we need. So kind of stick that where you want it to be. But if I leave the white bit, there's a tiny, you can't see that, but there's a tiny white edge on here. And I feel if you have the white included, it looks like you've not stuck it down fully. So I'm going to take a little tiny shaving off the end there. You probably think I'm talking double dutch and it is just a sliver, but it looks, it does look like you haven't stuck it all the way to the end properly and you've got a bit hanging over. I'm sure some of you will understand. So this little piece here, I will cut off at the end. I'm going to apply my Tombow on the back. There we go, and not quite right up to the edge because obviously we're going to cut that one away. A little bit in the middle. 
and we'll pick this up. My tweezers went back in the trolley, the, the caddy over there. So that one on there. And with the Tombow, love the Tombow. It's just got that squidgeability. You can move, maneuver it around just a tiny little bit. Right, okay, so let's get that out of the way. So we'll turn that over, grab my large scissors. Okay, and just do one clean cut tend to find if you do large cuts with small scissors you go nip 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 and you can make that jagged so we don't want any jaggers today so that is now going to be my card okay so we're going to do another bit of cutting we're going to take does anybody else put pink we've got pink oh we've got two purples and a pink so that's good uh, purple purple three purples and a pink so right i'm going to put the pink away for today and i will tell you why you will get to see what it would look, would have looked like because i have just a base template made up ready now this time i want my die back again I'm spinning around up there and because of where we're going to play this we're going to put this on this panel here i want it to come just inside so when we did the card on sunday we um staggered them um totally like halfway along to give sort of like a could be roof tiles it could be waves it could be all sorts so this time we want this edge to be on my paper so i'm going to take it to the end as far as i can without wasting anything okay so we're going to go all the way along there like so okay now i will just say i'm going to cut this in half the one i've just um made a quick template of the paper is six inches. I've cut it down from 12 by 12 to three to six inches. So if I cut this piece in half on there, I'll be able to use that for another card because the panel will be correct. Okay, and we're gonna work that in there and we'll just trim those edges off afterwards. So let's bring back the cut and emboss machine. Pink looks a bit lost. Well, it's a striking color. You'll see the difference. Okay, let me just pop this on here. It does need to be straight again. So what I've done here is lined the edge of the die, the curvy piece, up to the edge of the paper. Okay, now I'm on my cut and emboss plate. Okay, I'm going to set it slightly at an angle as well. Okay, pop this over the top and then cut that through. how's the weather been with everybody we had a really sunny day a bit windy still but it's been really sunny and for tea tonight we might we are indoors but we actually had our first barbecue of the season so that was quite a an achievement so it's nice and sunny like i said but we did eat indoors so i'm going to stick those on the edge of the case there just in case i need those again okay so again with this piece that's automatically fallen away but because the die is slightly shorter than our paper okay I'm just going to bring this up to the camera and I'm just going to snip that tiny little piece in there and then the tiny little piece this end okay so oops a daisy so can you see that just into where that curve is there okay very little waste now this uh, these are the sides that I said we need to place this where we want it to be so equal distance ish along there but it's got slightly over each side so i now need to cut that down and it is just a gnat's whisker so i'm turning this over so i've got my flat edge along here and i'm just going to take a tiny little piece off there the cats didn't want to go outside no it's um it was it was really windy this, i went out yesterday and there was bins knocked over I'm just in at the end of the road here. So it's, um, yeah, it's been very strong. So that is still, you can see, it's starting to get right. It's starting to come in on the ends there, but I need to match this up with the gap either side. So I'm gonna do a little bit more, just a tiny bit each end, and making sure that it's all nice and straight at the top there. Okay, and we test it again. There we go, and that's starting to see the variety in there that's about right i would say maybe a little bit wider on there but i'm happy with that so i'm going to leave that those so that's the way we're going to look at our card okay so i'm going to stick that one down next the cats are still wandering around have we got shaz on here yet no not yet maybe 
Um, yes, the. Uh, <laughs> she's telling me I've got to move my trimmer off the chair so that she can get up beside me. Bless her. <laughs> she is funny. So tweezers to hand now. Okay, to turn that one over. I'm going to place that on there like so. We should end up with a fairly even border. The angle of the scallops, you know, it's a little bit difficult to get absolutely pristine, but I think that's good as. There we go. So, um, run that over there again. Press that down. So it's still jumping up a little bit. Now, just, oh, I'm off the camera at the top now, look. Um, so now I'm going to get to my flower. Now, I need to decide what I'm going to do. Um, I want to stamp this as a solid image, okay? And I'm going to... I want to go for a green. I'm going to keep it with the same green we had the other day, the pretty peacock. It, it is a nice colour, and it did look nice on these leaves before. And I think it's going to go nicely with the purple... Um, purple um, uh, Blackberry Briss and uh, Fresh Freesia. So I'm going to put those three together. So I'll take the pinks out, the new pink, um, and pop in the um, existing ones. And Fresh Freesia is rolling over. It was one that was due to disappear this time. Um, it's the one of the, the five that was going to leave us. Um, they've had their two years. But luckily, it's staying on um, in the colour refresh. So I just want a piece of our... That's an actual card in there, isn't it? I've been so thrifty getting my scraps together. That's the envelope. That won't work. Um, I'm going to have to cut into another piece. I've been th so thrifty getting my scraps all sorted. I haven't got any pieces the size I want to to stamp on now. So um, just guess at that piece there. We're going to die cut this one. So I'm going to cut a strip off there. Maybe not on the little trimmer. You'll probably have seen them walk past me on the stairs, if you can see. They're upstairs, and I think there's going to be some fighting in a moment. Okay, so this is our stamp. We want to stamp it in the... Um, I was going to do it in the green, but I don't want the green around the outside of the flowers. Let's change our mind on that and go for the memento. Just a sec. Lean over there. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go for memento instead. There we go. I haven't got my stamp and pierce mat today, um, but this is onto a card. It's not going onto the project itself, so we need to stamp again, we can. Okay, and there's our lovely image. So pop that to one side. Now, how I want to do these, um, I want to use a sponge daubers on these. I'll pop those out of the way. And we're gonna have the Black Blue Bliss and the Fresh Freezer. So I'm gonna ink these up in the Fresh Freezer first. These are brand new stamps. I've not christened these ones yet. So stamp it in the fresh freezer. And then I'm going to take my sponge dauber. Okay, you can hardly see that on there. I kind of want to, if I hold it over there, you can actually see a little bit. So I want to just tinge some of the edges. So what I'm going to do, yes, yeah, she does want a treat. She always wants treats. <laughs> um, so I'm just taking the sponge dauber, putting my glasses down. And I'm just going to touch on around some of the edges on here. Because I'm using a, a dauber and not a marker, it will just, it should just take a little tiny edges here. Okay. Um, it's going to be trial and error. Um, it's kind of a, a, a type of thumping where there's a, a, a technique called thumping whereby you can bash your markers against the actual, just tap them on there and let them bounce off. Um, I've only done it very, very lightly and I'm hoping that that's gonna give us a slight bit of um, color around the edges. Now, the easiest point with this one is obviously you've got the little tiny nodule at the top there. 
so I try not to get my head in front of the camera um, and I'm going to line that up on here like so and then come down I am going to end up sticking my head in the camera sorry that one's going there Coming round, coming round. There we go. Feel like that's not over far enough. There we go. I don't think these are supposed to line up identically. Um, it's one of those um, distinctive ones. But that has got the very pale fresh freesia, but I've gone just around the ed outside edges of some of those with the, um, the Blackberry Bliss, just to give it the two-tone effect. So I'm quite pleased with that. It's worked. Okay. So that's that one. And then the leaves, I will do the same as we did the other night. And we're going to take the um, water um, brush, water painter. And I'm just going to pick some of these up. We want just that pastel pastel colour. So this is Pretty Peacock. And I only want a little dash of that in there. I don't want it to be too heavy. So just a little accent along the lines just along the stems there again bring my glasses down okay and I need a piece of kitchen roll just to take any excess moisture off my brush okay I normally fold that up like so and then I can just wipe the brush on it so I pick that up okay so we're literally just giving it a little bit of color You're kind of going over those lines of the of the stem so take away that black Okay, and just bring a little light, a light colour down there. Okay, and then we'll use a little bit heavier inside the, the leaves. These are the aqua painters. They come in a set of three. I said the other night, they, um, they have a nice broad nib now, which is lovely for a wash, creating a wash. Like if you wanted a big, big wash all over a background. Um, it's great for that. Then it's got, this one's the fine point one. And then it's got a medium brush as well. Okay, so let's just touch the little tiny piece of the, the green just along those. Okay, and I think that's going to do. So I'll squeeze that through and just to wash my nib. Don't scrub it, I'm just literally just wiping it, squeezing it through so it's nice and clean. I'll put the lid back on and that will be ready for next time. If you leave your inks on your brushes, they do tend to stain. The quicker you wash them, the better. Okay, sponge door is rolling around there. Now for my die that I put in my little tray here. And we're going to die cut that one. Okay. Bring this back up. I could have got the middle, middle little one out, but as I had the big one for the other die, we're okay tonight. A couple of pieces of tape. Here we got on there. So this is going to go up there, line up in a couple of focal points. So kind of the stem is vital. So I'm going to take that one down and then the other end here, it kind of goes in with that little nodule at the top there and there's a, a more of a triangular piece there. So I'm quite happy that that's in the right place. Again, just slightly at an angle. It's, it makes it easier when the rollers take it through, especially if you've got a flat sided like a rectangle or something. If it goes through a whole long line at the same time, it's easier to have it slightly staggered. Okay, and one little piece left behind. Sort that later. Because it's cut through that little piece as well on there. And there it just pops out really perfect. I'm going to leave that all together as it is. And then this one is going to come on here like so. So I'm going to lay that on there for now until we decide what I'm going to put for the greeting. We have some ribbon here, some of the fresh freesia. So this one will be retiring um, with the catalogue. So I'm just going to tie my bunny ears there. They're still in focus. Little bunny ears loop on there. Take this first finger and make a bunny loop on there. I'm going to crisscross those over. And with this finger, I tuck that round through the middle, um, just like you're tying your shoelaces when we we're at primary school. Um, it's all elastic these days, isn't it? And Velcro. Um, but yeah, that was my school tying days. Okay, so there's my little bow. I don't want it too big. So there's one option. You're going to have to make a decision again and make a choice. 
that's one option okay just bring those in pull the little tails down and tighten the actual bow and pull them in again make it as small as you want okay so there's one nice little bow so that could be one of the possibilities on there like so like that um, but I want to do another one as well so I've got some um, twine in here I've got the baker's twine I haven't looked to see if these five are carrying over but we do have it in white and I'm going to and the other one's the linen thread and I need to have a scrap of scrap paper some printer paper here So we've got two options there's the bow that's one option and then this one is going to be to color a section again i tend to tie a bow think right how much am i going to need like that and cut that off and back in the box so then with this one i took my blackberry bliss um blends now why i'm doing it on paper is because it will bleed through and all we're going to do here is literally just stroke that across okay and in fact i'm going to just tweak that a little bit because what you can do have two ways you have one way to do this and you hold your pen and you drag it through and it will color the ink okay you can also do it onto your ink pad like so and just so it's going to color the other side at the same time so if you've got your blends you can do that but it also if you've got your sponge daubers which we have used tonight so I should have thought of that sooner. I label all mine with, a little, with my little Dymo machine. So the other way is to just place this with your sponge dauber and you can actually color it on here. So you can literally just drag it through. So you can just pull the whole length through just a few times. So you've got it well covered like so. Okay, so you are pressing it in. Okay, I don't think it needs a re-ink, but um, there we go. I don't think you've seen me do this on air recently. In fact, you haven't. I know you haven't recently, but it's not something I do loads. But obviously it will be wet when you take your fingers off it. So doing the other end, you're going to be gripping that piece. So I will end up with inky fingers. Okay, and you're just moving it around. Your sponge dauber isn't getting your f this finger dirty, but it's just going to colour that white baker's twine. And if you've got some variety in there, if you've got some variations and it's slightly got some white pieces in there, I really wouldn't worry about it. There we go. So that white piece of thread is now Blackberry Bliss. Okay, with a few different options of how you can get there. I did have a wet wipe to hand. Another technique I was going to do tonight, and I've, I changed my mind to do it this way, um, was to do the um, wet wipes, the baby wipe technique with the re -inkers. But I'm going to save that until we get the reinkers for the new colours, and we'll do it then. Okay, so we'll just leave that a few seconds to dry. Okay, and in the meantime, we can work out whether we want the little bow on here. We're going to tie. We're going to mount this on here. Oh, we need a sentiment. Let's do the sentiment while we wait. Okay, you can dry off camera. And like I said, I think I'm going to use the same sentiment again that on my dye pot and my magnet I've got a longer greeting on here we have the greetings here for your net here for you now you're absolutely amazing that's quite a nice one so very happy for you that one might be nice so very happy for you you can tell which ones i've used the other night because they are in the purples and pinks and they do stain a little bit red but still work absolutely fine. So here's my sentiment, my small block. And we want a little, we have got fragments now. So this is where my, my swaps are coming into play in their boxes, all nice and neatly labeled. And I'll just find a swap, a scrap that is going to be a size for what I want to use. And I'm so pleased I'm actually bringing them to the table every time and they will get used. Hi Sue, watching for the first time. Yes, I'm in Norfolk in UK. So where are you from Sue? You're on YouTube. I can tell by the fact that on my programme I use you are red and everybody else is blue. 
so i do have youtube users um, um watchers oh and, and can cindy's cindy's on youtube as well and zana's on youtube so i've got a few over there today so it streams to both places at the same time so there is my sentiment absolutely gorgeous love it and of course blackberry bliss is one of my all-time favorites ever um, I'm just going to see, bring my dies back, I'm just going to see if there's a die that is small enough. You see, that's not really, it's not going to cut the mustard on that one, is it? I really don't think it will. I'll go to the outside. Mm, no, I'm just going to do with a, with a fussy cut like I did the other night. Okay, if you don't like your fussy cutting, you could actually just cut that as a, as a block. Um, I like to, I don't, you know, I don't mind doing my fussy cutting. So here we go. So we're bringing it round, round. If you haven't seen me before, some new, new viewers on here, I'm just hot keeping my scissors still and I'm moving my card. I'm pivoting it on this side. So I'm bringing it round there. And oh, we've got some more watching for the first time. Welcome, welcome. Leave a little comment below and tell me where you're from, where you're watching from. We do have overseas viewers on here, which is lovely. So I'm just bringing this card around, pivoting on this side with my inky finger. Blackberry Bliss is one of the, it's my favourite, but it's one of those that does tend to stain a little bit. It will wear off after a few washes. Okay, so I'm pivoting again. My scissors are hardly moving and I'm just pivoting this card round with the curves of the sentiment and coming round the bottom there, up the other side. If you find the waist piece here gets in the way, you can just cut it off and carry on. Okay, I've stamped this, I've got my scraps out and I actually picked up the ones with the thick white card um, scraps. So because it's going to be a sentiment and it's going to be raised on foam pads it will give it that bit more substance as well so that's why i chose those ones okay so we now need our foam pads so we have some big ones we'll have to get the mini ones out as well because i think some of the other pieces might need the smaller pads so we'll have a nice big one at the top there and we'll have one of the minis just down at the bottom here in fact I think one should do I take those backs off ready and I'm going to do the same with the flower so we can use the big ones where we can I like both our dimensionals they are all really really great um, the little ones there's 720 in a pack I believe and these ones are 300 in a pack so I've got some little skinny stems here the little bits of leaf and a stem so I kind of need something on there so if I take my um, paper snips I'm going to take these little pieces between the dimensionals I usually wait till we've finished the packet and use those at the end but we've got four little pieces on there so I'm going to bring those off find an, a wider piece where it's not going to show and I will take them off as I go it's just easier to see them where you've gone so this one coming up the branch there and just take that off as I go and you can see why I use the tweezers because it is a small little piece I've stuck to my own work there that's it and we've got another little one here so that can come on this branch and one at the top and I think we'll be done okay so take that one off and then I need one more there's a little piece in here but I think that's going to get snipped away when I cut that So we'll take that off there. It can be used for something else. So just put this one at the top here, just to support those little pieces. Okay, and take these off now. One, two, and three. There we go. Now we're going to place this on here. Make sure you're in camera. So that's going to be my flower. I do like things fairly straight and then this is going to be my sentiment coming off to the side here that can go wherever we like in a minute let's tie our bow with our baker's twine 
that's been coloured with a blackberry bliss. Okay, it should be dry by now. So it's kind of like a little bit variegated where it's not solid solid because it wasn't done at manufacture. Okay, so that's my little bow there. Now that could be the bow as we sit there. I think I like that with the darker. I'll just bring you in a bit further. I think I quite like that one. And the other alternative is with the ribbon here. Just cut the tassels off. So would you like to have this one with the Blackberry Bliss twine, twine or ribbon? I think it, whilst they're both nice, I think this one pulls the dark, the Blackberry Bliss from in there. That's my preferred, I think at the moment. So, Netherlands, aha. Close ties then, look. So I'm going to get a tiny glue dot. So these are our mini glue dots. And I'm just gonna open this up, the one on here. My glasses are up and down all the time. Twine, twine, excellent. Well done, ladies. So I'm gonna take my tweezers. There's one come off on this side. I'm gonna just push these. You probably can't see, look, because the white, the light is so bright. I'm pushing this up. I'm rolling it up into a little sausage, okay? And I'm gonna place that where I want my bow to go. So instead of being a little mini round, so it's a circle, it's actually a little sausage now. And I'm gonna press that on top there, like so. And then we can take the large scissors. They tend to be my dressmaking type scissors. They're sharp, they, I call these sharper. So even Stevens on my tails, like so. Take those away into the bin. I won't, won't keep those for anything. And then this one, Sentiment is now gonna come down here somewhere wherever we'd like to put him. We can have him sitting on the flower there. I think in fact, that's gonna go nicer in there. Okay, slightly over the, over the edge there maybe, or just tuck him in. I think I'm gonna go there. There we go. And there is our finished card. Now I'm just gonna grab some scraps of this for my envelope. So I will pop another piece of the papers on there. And I think I'll use both of them together. So with the mini trimmer, get the wet wipe out of the way. I'm just gonna take a little slither off here. Um, however wide you want to put them, there's no measurements needed really. And then the same with this one. And we could attach those on. So we're gonna have one coming down like so. If you rough cut them, it just saves you getting glue everywhere. And the same with that one, roughly to there. I don't think I can do anything with those yet, but I'll put them in the dish in case. And then we run the Tombow down there. There we go. So those new bods that have joined us tonight, I'm live on here. You'll find me on Facebook and on YouTube at the same time um, on a Sunday at eight o'clock UK time and on at nine o'clock on a Wednesday. Okay, I've got two different times and two different days, kind of mid midweek. So please come back and join us again. And I'm gonna butt those two up just to each other like so. Okay, we don't need to do anything on the liner of the card this time because the, the decoration goes into the liner. So that's so, and then I will take these off. Take that one off there, and then take this one off here. Easiest way to trim is just by taking it off the edges. Okay, so there's our envelope and our little card tonight. Now, who were the ladies earlier saying the pink cards? Let me scroll back and see if I can find you. Who was saying pink, pink, hello, hello. Love the colors. You're here, Shaz, sorry I missed you coming in, sorry. Pink, Li Lizzie, Lizzie liked the pink. There we go. So, just so that you can see what it would have looked like, here was my blank one that I did earlier. So take the envelope away because the white distracts it. And then say, this is the pink. It, they both go nicely. When you said it's a bit lost on the pink, I kind of bring that down again, look. I was working on Sunday. I was working too far away from the camera, so I was working higher. Now I've brought the camera down. 
So you can see kind of the different colours on there, how they work. <laughs> any scallopy edge, any, any edging that you've got, anything that could just cut along those edges. And if you didn't have a nice intricate die like that, you could just make that shorter. Just cut a straight line and then do your matte layer as a straight, straight edge as well. You'll still get that white border and that will show through. So if you haven't got anything that would work, print to make the boys wink. Yes, well done. <laughs> Love it. But anyway, that's my cards for today. And like I say, there's a matching envelope, so that could go, could go with either of those. It's actually with that one tonight because the purple. Okay, so um, hope you like those. Um, and I will bring you back to me. I'll take that off and bring you back over. There we go. Um, I will see you again on Sunday. Um, don't forget if you are... Um, interested if you've got anything on your shopping list at the moment there is a free shop free shipping today up until um, um 11 o'clock for us uk time so in your market i know there's some americans on there um if whatever your market is you have a cut off time um in the different markets okay oh love them thanks ever so much lizzie it's lovely um, yeah, so this is the free shipping is for 24 hours and it was just for today and the last time it is, is just before 11 o'clock tonight. Okay, so take care, stay safe and I will look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Okay, bye for now.